Hi, Carol here. Um, just enjoying the summertime. Um, I've done a little bit of reorganizing my living room, kind of going for the vibes of a minimalist and Montessori-ish style, which means it's all visual, which frustrates me because I don't like visual clutter, but um, so far it's working well for the kids. They're definitely picking up books and um, toys from there more often. And so I just wanted to share that with you. It is not something that I gravitate towards and probably when the kids leave, I will go back to having everything in boxes and just having a flat surface. Um, but for the moment, this is what my living room looks like. Okay, so I decided to film this at night because it is right beside a window, as you can see. <laughs> so this is the setup right now that I have going. We always had this little kitchen over there, which the kids loved. Um, in these little baskets now, it's not strictly Montessori, but we have all the food for the kitchen. A couple of girl stuff, action figures, um, cars, planes, trucks, things that move like that. And as you can tell, we have a lot of those dress up stuff, um, which doesn't come out very often. But when it does, the kids have so much fun. These are ours. There is um, drawing stuff here. Lego is here. Um, and then electrical stuff, board games. Lego again, but this is the... There's a lot of Lego. <laughs> so this stuff up here is um, Lego that's already been made. This stuff up here is Lego that's been made but been taken apart by someone. So they, it's kind of easy-ish to put back together. This is the Lego that is um, just all like the creator Lego. So it's all in pieces and you can just start from scratch with that one. This one is perfect for little Lego figures. Now my little son has been at it and has kind of taken all the figures out and apart, but they do usually stand up on those and they fit perfectly there. This is Duplo. So we have Lego and Duplo. This is board. These are um, really good books, <coughs> excuse me, that my family like to read. These are the sunlight curriculum for junior infants. And so because I have them, I'm going to put them out and I might go through them or I might not. As you can see visually, it kind of looks quite inviting. So only a few of these are kind of a mix of the Montessori method, which is this, which is just putting one toy out. This is a ball box. These are board books. So this would be more for like um, Micah's age group. And he and so that's why they're actually quite there in the middle um, so that he can access them easily, whereas the other kids are able to um, scoot in and get these. So then these three boxes here, <coughs> excuse me, just have one book each, one book in each, and the aim is to alternate. So right now there is kind of two picture books and then more of a um, reading book for me. At the moment I can only do hardback books because I don't have anything to prop them up against. I'm sure if I look at Ikea I can find something like that. Um, so as you can see it's kind of, it's not technically Montessori, I mean <clears throat> We do have a lot of plastic toys and a lot of toys, but it's trying to have things at their level. It's not aesthetically pleasing to me. Um, I prefer to have everything in boxes and hidden away, but we do we do sacrifice for our children. <laughs> you can see this is my setup and it is in my living room. And so we have often had um, the toys in the opposite room. Um, to have the other room as a playroom, but this is kind of our living space here. And then, as you can see, the other room is our TV room. And it's also where we have a lot of our homeschool stuff. So, and our TV too and the sofa that the children are allowed to eat on. <laughs> so I hope that gave you kind of like an idea of the vibe we're going for and hopefully this next school year 
the kids will be more enticed to go and like take a book themselves or um, play themselves a little bit more together um, and to put them up and tidy away at night so that I'm not the one doing it. Um, so if you like to give it a like, thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.